This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there any way to turn the wireframe of a model to a 3D mesh? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the demo head here loaded in. And the question is asking about taking the wireframe of a model and converting it to a 3D mesh. So let's say I have the demo head here and I'm gonna to navigate to the tool palette and open up the geometry area. And I'm just gonna change him down to his first subdivision here. And then I'm gonna activate polyframes. So let's say I want to take what I see here on the demo head, so his wireframe, but I wanna generate a 3D mesh of just the wireframe aspect. So this can be used with 3D printing or maybe just a certain effect I wanna give a mesh. So the process to do this is fairly simple. So you first need to take a model that has pretty low resolution. So the demo head here has still quite a bit of topology, but we can still make it work with this process. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the mesh does not contain any subdivision levels. So we wanna to navigate to the tool palette, go to that geometry area, make sure the model is at the lowest subdivision level, and then click delete higher, because you wanna make sure that the model has no subdivisions. The next thing we need to do is we need to locate the Z modeler brush. So this can be done by going to the brush palette over here, then clicking Z on your keyboard, which will isolate by the letter Z. And then you'll see the Z modeler brush is located right here. And you can click on this or press M on your keyboard. Now, once we have this brush selected, we can now come across the surface of our model. And as we hover over a poly, an edge, or a point, we're gonna be able to perform a different action. So we want to hover over a poly, and then we want to press spacebar to enter into the Z modeler poly action menu. In here, we want to change our poly action to inset. We want to change our target to all polygons, and then we want to change our modifiers to border only. Now that we have these options set, if we turn back to our model and now hover over a poly and click and drag, this is going to perform a inset function on all the polys of our model. And this is going to give us that wireframe effect. So as you can see, as I click and drag across this poly here, it's taking all those polys and insetting them, giving me this wireframe. So now that we have generated this wireframe, it's currently only single-sided. So if I go to the tool palette and then navigate down to the display properties, you'll see the double is active. So I'm currently viewing the front and the back side of the mesh. So if I turn off double here, you can see that the model is currently only single-sided. So if you were trying to print this model, it would not work. So let's say now that I have this wireframe effect being applied to my mesh, I now just wanna give it some thickness. So what I can do here is I can hover over one of these polys again, press spacebar to go back into the Z modeler poly action menu, in here, I wanna set my action to Q mesh. I'm gonna change my target to all polygons. So now with these options set, if I come back across a poly on my model and click and drag, this is now going to create a Q mesh function across all those polygons. And it's going to allow me to give the model thickness. So as you drag, you're gonna be able to tailor how thick you want these parts of your mesh to be. And then after you release, you now should have this effect on your mesh. So now you should have the wireframe effect being applied to your model, and that wireframe also has thickness. Now at this stage, you can now export this out and use it for 3D printing, or you can take this effect and apply it to other areas on your model. So to recap quickly, first you just need to have a model that contains no subdivision levels, and that has pretty low resolution topology. You then need to select the Z modeler brush. With the Z modeler brush selected, you need to hover over a poly, press spacebar, go in the Z modeler poly action menu. In here, select the inset action. Make sure your target is set to all polygons and your modifier is set to border only. Then you can come across a poly on your model and click and drag, and this will perform that inset action. After you have that inset action performed, you want to now hover over a poly again, press spacebar to go back into the Z modeler poly action area, choose the Q mesh action, make sure the target is set to all polygons, and then hover over a poly on your mesh 
and click and drag, and this will now apply thickness to that area. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.